G'day everybody, it's Malcolm from Old Man Golf. So I want to first of all thank uh, all of my YouTube, Facebook and Instagram followers. Reach a thousand followers with Instagram. So as I promised, I'm going to do a what's in the bag video. It's the first time I've done one of these, but I've settled on the clubs that I'm going to use for 2020 and decided that we should go through them, go through what else I use, range finders, balls, tees, markers, everything like that. So I hope you enjoy the video. Now let's talk irons. So this year, what I'm using is the Wilson C300 Flex Face irons. I'm a huge fan of these. I've had them for 12 months. They're a very forgiving iron, um, quite a game improvement iron. They've got the urethane filled power holes around them. They've also got in these ones, the KBS 290 shafts and the Wilson branded Lambkin grips. Uh, definitely a big fan of these getting some good distances out of everything. And I'm running from four iron right the way down to pitching wedge. All right, so we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the wedges. And this year, I'm using Golf Gods forged wedges. I've got them in a 52, 56, and a 60. In the black and gold, standard steel shafts. And on the 60 degree, I've decided to add an Alien Pro overwrap. Now, Alien Pro provide these uh, overwraps to go over any golf grip. You can put, install them yourself and they're very easy to put on. They also provide a little bit more tackiness to the grip and a little bit more thickness as well. So the wedges themselves, I got them $150 at the beginning of last year, and I find them to be very, very good around the greens and out of the sand. If you are looking for a new set of wedges and you're on budget, these are definitely something that you, I would highly recommend. And now let's start talking about fairway woods. I'm gonna start with the five wood. So this year, I've gone with a Wilson D7 five wood. Got it set at 18 degrees. Uh, it has a Mamiya helium shaft, which is a 46 gram regular flex. And it's also got the Lambkin grip as well. Okay, next wood we're gonna move on to is a three wood. So this year, I've got the Cobra Fly Z three wood. It's set at 15 and a half degrees. And uh, it's one that I bought second hand. I find quite comfortable. It's a little bit heavier than I expected initially. Uh, so we've got a 70 gram stiff flex um, velocity shaft and it's got a Golf Pride um, MCC plus four grip. Okay, let's move on to driver now. So I've been using this one for a little while, but I haven't done a bit of an introduction and a bit of an explanation of what it is. It's the Wilson D300 Superlight driver. So Wilson have had this driver out for a little while. It's set at nine degrees. Um, as the name Superlight indicates, it's got a 44 gram stiff shaft in it uh, and the head on it is titanium with the uh, micro vortex generators across the top. And it's also got a very light Golf Pride grip as well. So I'm not a big fan of mucking around with these and changing too many of the settings. Uh, it does have the ability to add and de decrease the loft uh, by one degree. And it also has a draw setting to it. So my natural shot shape is a bit of a right to left. So I've kept it at nine degrees and haven't added the draw setting to it as well. Okay, so now we've worked our way through the bag. We're gonna go back and have a look at the putter. So this year I've been very fortunate to get my hands on an Odyssey Stroke Lab putter. It's the Odyssey Stroke Lab V-Line putter and it's got the micro hinge white hot face and it's also got the stability shaft. So as I've said when I first got this putter, I'm not much of a tech guy. Uh, I do like the feel of this putter. It's got weight distribution into the grip itself and they've taken some more, put more, some more weight into the head of the putter. It's a mallet putter, which is a bit of a departure for me because I normally use a blade putter. Uh, I've had two rounds of golf with it so far, and I'm really, really impressed with the way that it's improved my putting. Uh, that could be a little bit of me as well, a little bit more confidence over the ball. Uh, so we'll see, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time working on this putter and see what sort of improvements I can make with it. Okay, so let's talk about the balls that I'm using this year. This year, I've got the Wilson Staff Duo Soft Balls. I've been using them for a little while. I've come back to them after testing a couple of other different types of balls. So I find them really good. They're a soft ball. I get nice distance with irons, drivers, and fairway woods. And they also have a really good feel off the putter and off the wedges around the grain. Definitely a good value ball, uh, and I won't be changing these at all this year. All right, so next thing I'm gonna talk about is the range finder. So I've got my very first range finder at Christmas this year for as a gift and it's the Woe Sports rangefinder. So it's fully rechargeable via a USB port, uh, does meters or yards, and it also does slope. Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail on it, 
because for those of you that would have seen on my Instagram post, I'm planning on doing a full review of this once I've had a couple more rounds with it and can get a bit of, bit of a better idea how it deals with all the different conditions that I play in. All right, so last two things, gloves. Use a tailor-made glove, nice and comfortable, fits really well. Uh, I tend to rotate gloves around a little bit. We live in Queensland and it gets a bit hot and humid, but I've got a couple of these tailor-made gloves and I find them to be just exactly what I need. The other thing I've got is a scorecard holder. Again, another lovely present that I got from my kids at Christmas time. Um, holds a scorecard really well, place for a pencil, very handy little addition to have. All right, so that finishes the what's in the bag for 2020. I'd like to thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, remember to give us a like, um, press the subscribe button, and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified of any videos that I put up. Links to my Instagram and Facebook pages will be in the description below. And I'd also like to thank Liam from FCB Chickens who put this video together for me. Uh, a link to his YouTube channel will be in the description below as well.